get on my got to get on my uh my little soapbox for just a minute what i'm doing uh in case some of you guys can't stick around for the entire show on uh on lunch um or you don't want to and i know a lot of guys you know you short attention th span theater i get it too but um so what i'm trying to do is break some of these little subjects out into uh, into small little shorts that I call K6UDA live bits, and I'll put them up as videos, standalone videos. So you could go back in, you can look at uh, at these different little kind of mini subjects within uh, within the live show, within the bigger live show. And I know we are coming up here on um, on the the one o'clock hour here, the thirteen hundred hour. We'll uh, we'll take a few more. Uh, how's that for an introduction? I like it. I'll take it. <laughs> well, okay. So tell uh, tell everybody about yourself. What uh, what? Who are you? What do you do? Fair enough, Bob. So my name is Craig Lamparter, KM6LYW Radio on, on YouTube, if you want to check the channel. And uh, by day, I'm a Linux system software engineer, so Linux stuff all day. And then in my off hours, I'm an operator just like all of you. Uh, when there's some overlap, uh, some exciting things start to happen. We get lots of cool Linux, uh, ham radio, data, digital modes, uh, new devices being built. Um, so it's a kind of a combination of a Linux system software engineering and ham radio. That's uh, pretty much what fills my time, Bob. Wow, that's uh, that's quite a bit. That is uh, quite a bit of uh, of stuff that you're doing. Uh, let's see. So I understand that you are fairly involved with the APRS thing. Um, tell us about. What APRS is, what it does, how it can benefit hams, and how we can use it. So, APRS is a global network of ham radios that use data. And they use the same modem sounds that you had in the 80s, right? Uh, when you connect to, to AOL or something. And, and all, most of the radios have these modems in them. Uh, this, this Yesu, for example, this FT1, FT2, Bob, you've got the three and five there. The Kenwoods have the, the, the mobile units have it from Yesu and Kenwood. And a lot of people think that APRS, which stands for Advanced Packet Reporting System, is just a way for you to send a beacon out and show up on a map somewhere. And it's so much more than that. APRS is really a kind of an upset subset of the AX.25 network protocol. But the implementation here on the Earth is global. I mean, it's just about everywhere. Um, you can use an APRS-enabled radio all over the world. In fact, I do a lot of traveling. And uh, not only was I able to send my position using my HT in uh, the Old Town Square in Prague, in the Czech Republic, um, I was able to send an SMS message to my wife using this exact radio right here, and she was able to reply. So APRS is a, is a network, data network. It's not just a position reporting system. I think a lot of people make uh, that assumption. So you can do so much more. And, you know, it's probably 25, 30 years old, and by itself, you know, it's not that exciting. Yeah, you can send messages to, you know, radios next to you. Then we got the internet. Well, now we can tunnel messages from one radio on one side of the world to the radio on the other side of the world. And the endpoints would both be over RF. But I think what a lot of people are missing is we've got this physical network, APRS, and we really, and it's connected to the internet and we're not leveraging that. You know, it doesn't depend on the internet, but it, it, the internet is a real supplement for that. So I'd like to reimagine APRS and use these radios to get internet types of services. Like uh, when someone picks up their cell phone, what are they doing most of the time, right? They're sending text messages, they're sending email and checking the weather. I guarantee you, you can do all three things using an APRS enabled radio, using the hardware you already have. In fact, we could even demonstrate it here. And in fact, I'm building hardware, infrastructure um, and services. Uh, we, we can actually do things like tweet from a radio like this. We're not advertising it just yet, but our development teams are working on that. In fact, a lot of what we've done is actually got the attention of Bob Reninga, 
uh, the actual creator of APRS himself. So we've had some email exchanges with Bob, great guy, uh, just fantastic uh, community behind the APRS global network of amateur radios. Bob. Wow. That's, hang on, let's get the switcher going. God, Mr. Snurdly, get on the mark there, my friend. Uh, let's see. That, man, that just sounds so very cool. Um, let me, let me see if I can't get both of us in the, uh, yeah, there we go. Now I got both of us in the, in the scene. Um, <laughs> wow. I am just loving. Okay. I got to just say, I added um, my old Sony RX100 now as a webcam. This is the Mark IV, and this camera is so crispy. I, I am loving this thing. It's, uh, um, you know, next, uh, next week I'll have a new little dongle for camera number one here. And this thing is going to get insanely crispy on camera one. Uh, but right now, camera two. And I need to add you back in here. Just, I, I just had to say that. Just because. <laughs> Shit like that just gets me all. <laughs> My Mr. Snurdly is not a happy camper. Anyway, guys. Uh, like I said before, uh, number one, if you're watching this on playback and you like the video, please give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already hit the subscribe over here, please hit the subscribe here. Please leave a comment because comments are, uh, they are working. Your comments, your interaction uh, here on the channel, it is making a huge difference. And, uh, and the word is getting out to more and more hams across the world, across the country. Um, I mean, as evidenced by VK Land, Israel, the Netherlands, all here for lunch and ham radio. That is very, very cool, my friends. Uh, and be sure and go to uh, KM6LYW Radio on, uh, on YouTube. Give him a subscribe and uh, give him some like and some love on YouTube there. Uh, like I said, guys, again, um, I am doing some little breakouts, so expect little breakouts of some of these things coming along in the next day or so. Uh, that'll fill up. And then uh, my regular videos on usually on Fridays. Winterizing this last week, I kind of missed it, but I've got a good one uh, that I'm working on right now. Anyway, my friends, uh, that is it for me. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.